Welcome back guys, Crypto for Light channel. Today we'd like to talk about the GX USDT trading pair with my customer Kersar. Updates. Let's dive in. First of all, I have to confirm my idea about the main bull run plan for that token. Most likely wrong. Yes, and I'm more than okay with that uh, and more than okay to be wrong and confirm I'm wrong. You know, I, I'm not pretend to be always right or uh, I'm not that type of guys who uh, chase at that uh, I told you. No, guys, I totally don't care if I uh, right or wrong. You know, I work with the risk management, with own risk management, with my ideas, with the targets, you know, ideas can be right or wrong. It's more than okay. There is no, no trader in the world who always 100% right all the time. This is just basically impossible. And uh, like we can see, it's a good example. One decision from the Binance can uh, almost kill the coin. So yes, unfortunately. And uh, the main take for that token was here. So the correction to 0 0.23 level by FIP. I'm not uh, wait some 0 0.5 level by FIP or higher. A year ago, I posted that video. So here we traded at 17 cents, even 20 cents, and I waited top and end of bull run for that token like $2.37 maybe $2.74 uh, 75 by end of cycle but uh, the problem is uh, the main bull run plans relevant if the token still trade on the Binance yes unfortunately the Binance push the price to the sky on some tokens and can uh, kill the token in one click if they decide to delist it Yes, and we got a few examples uh, we, when they posted the announcement and then the listed token and the coin never recovered back. Of course, guys, this token still trade on uh, other exchanges like Gate.io, uh, still a uh, main volume on a Gate.io. So if you hold the tokens on a Binance, I recommend you to withdraw to um, Gate.io or the Max on a BitGet or on a Binx and uh, trade uh, that uh, exchanges uh, because I guess uh, the... Binance will convert automatically to UZC, your uh, delisting trading pairs. So just in case. Uh, here, now we traded 6 uh, million market cap. Maybe, guys, of course, the coin can recover back, but uh, we got a limitation. We, limitation for pump, or for uh, recover back uh, because of Binance. Yes, unfortunately, guys, now we trade 1 cent. And imagine uh, they made a post about uh, the about the deleasing right around here i guess and uh, yes we dump it like crazy like crazy 77 percent from that uh, from that entries and uh, tomorrow i guess uh it will be the deleasing date and now it's like in top gainers uh showing a seven percent uh, pump but in this case yes the most positive case scenario can be if we test 49 cents for that token, I don't know what should happen with that token. So we recover back uh, from one cent to 49, 2,600 percent gains. Uh, like a speculation, of course, guys, it's possible. So take a look, it will be 167 mil market cap. It will be the crazy gains for that token. Of course, when we trade it uh, at 20 cents, $2, $2.37 looks more than real, right? So 812, like speculation, it sounds more than realistic targets. Now, with this current circul circulation supply that's current uh, dump, a 167 million market cap, it can be like a gift basically for that token. So just in case, if you stock, if you accumulate it around here, so between 19 and uh, let's say 8 cents, no make sense to cut losses now. Basically, uh, just wait, just wait uh, how the altcoins will perform uh, during the altcoin season when Bitcoin domain is go going under 50 or 45 percent. Then we will see how uh, the tokens like speculations uh, can pump. So take a look. The last time it was like 700 percent pump. So it's more than real to see the same story, like at least out of the break even if you're stuck in that token. This is one more great example. When the Binance adds some token on the monitoring tag, uh, just be careful with that story. The same story was with the Reef coin, uh, even the uh, Reef uh, being uh, and, and launched at uh, Binance Labs, right? So it's absolutely doesn't matter. After three years or four years, it doesn't matter. So they uh, just spray and pray. So they invest in 100 
coins, for example, then if some tokens uh, not uh, perform pretty well, they forgot about that tokens, delete it and uh, focus on the main tokens. So uh, most likely the bull run plan invalidated. Let's take a look with my custom record set. Technically, guys, yes, of course, we formed the huge, uh, the warranty uh, on the weekly and frame signs uh, made so many two. So one, two, three dumps huge divergence on a weekly so uh, we will see how this token perform by now or not uh, guys only up to you yeah so this token still trade major exchanges and with a big volume on a gate.io so on a gate.io the volume bigger than on a binance so it's not like low cap uh, a coin uh, which nobody care about so three million uh five uh 3.5 million uh, daily trade volume so it's kind of big one and it's not like a crazy crazy low cap so you can invest like 500 and push the price up to one ten a one percent or two percent you remember that story so to push the price higher two percent you need to invest 283 so guys the and still okay liquidity even on the get, big get daily volume uh, half million so yes, it's a risky, risky, risky coin, guys. Um, but up to you. Now, of course, you're in a better condition than the guys who accumulated here, for example, or a year ago. Take a look, um, take a look, take a look now on the uh, direction. Yes, so we're in a like accumulation zone. It's hard to say uh, what exactly and who exactly uh, accumulate that token, what funds accumulate, what the big players accumulate and what side of their position. Yes, uh, all that time period was the, Ethereum, and yes, this coin slowly dying, and we're still in uh, like capitulation zone. Let's add just for fun to uh, optimism zone. We'll see if this token recover back or not. Monster time frame, we're still in um, kind of kind of weird, still in Ethereum zone. Uh, that's kind of weird. Take a look on uh, money power indicator. No money inflow on the monster time frame, uh, but Take a look. The money start inflowing that that talk in the last two weeks. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe Wells will speculate that talking. Last time when we saw the money inflow, one, two, three, four weeks in a row, it was like a pump from that uh, low, 140, 46%. Uh, uh, we got a MACD that were in C's, three, big one. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll recover back to 19 or 20 cents. We will see, we'll see. Uh, but uh, it's kind of weird how how just one delisting from one exchange can affect the price of some token. Uh, trade on, yes, we trade way over, way under uh, from a wall of the token. And uh, buy, uh, take profit line at this moment is 22 cents, 86. So if you want to take a risk at this current moment, right? Take profit will be like 1,000, uh, 1,300% gains, it's going to be the take profit line. Take profit line, guys. It uh, sounds even weird. And uh, here, this will be 3,000% gains if, if we hit 49 uh, cents from the real low. So just in case. Uh, let's see. Let's see how this token perform, right, uh, on a gate or on a max. If uh, the gate on a max will delist, that token is going to be pretty, pretty... Uh, that confirm that confirmation so guys i hope you like this video uh write this in a comment what is your thoughts about vgx uh do this coin has chance to recover back or not if you would like to trade with my customer because i would show it in this video just write me dm subscribe channel his like button his notification button don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys